Hello everyone, welcome to Travel World Online. First the headlines. Flood hit Cumbria, still open for business this Christmas. India established sustainable tourism criteria. Sikkim plans new reptile park and golf course. India tourism targets UK with new wrap. Thomas Cook India has launched a new travel card. Now the news in details. Please do not cancel your trip to Lake District, pleads the Cumbria's tourism sector, as it vows to press ahead with events despite storm decimant. Cumbria's tourism bosses are urging visitors not to cancel trips or shun the region this Christmas in the wake of the chaos, flooding and destruction caused by the storm decimant this week. Much of the northwest of England was hit by heavy rainfall and high winds, with the Met Office issuing dozens of severe flood and weather warnings, and more is expected tonight. Thousands of people were forced from their homes in both Cumbria and Lancashire. But with the Christmas and New Year holidays integral to, integral to the region's economy, representatives from the tourism industry and hotel owners are pleading that people continue to come to Cumbria as planned. India's Ministry of Tourism has released new criteria for sustainable tourism operations. Under its new comprehensive sustainable tourism criteria for India guidelines, tourism companies in the hotel and tour operation sectors, including those in beach, backwater, lake and river areas, will be provided with a series of measures they need to undertake in order to ensure their operations are sustainable. In the hotel sector, guidelines have been established for development projects and operational hotels under a series of categories. Hotels at the project stage are required to incorporate various eco-friendly measures including sewage treatment, rainwater harvesting systems, waste management systems, pollution control, the introduction of non-chlorofluorocarbon emitting equipment for refrigeration and air conditioning, and measures for energy and water conservation conservation. Operational hotels, meanwhile, should be sustainable and energy efficient and conform to local culture and design. Tour operators wanting to be approved by the Ministry of Tourism have to sign a commitment towards safe and honorable tourism and sustainable tourism and uphold the best environment and heritage protection standards in a way that optimizes benefits to the local community and environment. The new criteria have been drawn up following consultations with tourism stakeholders following the initial workshop for stakeholders on sustainable tourism, which was organized in August 2014. The Indian state of Sikkim is planning to develop a new tourist attractions including a reptile park and a golf course. Earlier this month, Sikkim's Chief Minister Sri Pawan Chamling met India's Minister of Tourism, Culture and Civil Aviation Dr. Mahesh Sharma to discuss plans for the new tourism projects. According to the Tourism Ministry, Sri Chamling sought Dr. Sharma's cooperation in establishing a reptile park in Sikkim which would showcase four or five types of reptile that are native to the Himalayan state. In addition, Shikim, Sikkim's minister also proposed a new golf course to be developed near the Nathula Pass set at approximately 4,300 meters above the sea level. The tentatively named Yak Golf Course would be the highest in the world. These new projects will become more accessible following the opening of Sikkim's first airport which is expected to be completed next year. Sikkim forms a key part of Indian government's efforts to promote tourism in the northeast of the country. India Tourism has moved to enhance its promotional efforts in the UK with the appointment of a new PR representative in the country. Maklaksky International has been named as India's new tourism rep for the UK for a period of two years from December 2015. The company will be tasked with implementing India Tourism's public relations strategy in the UK, including licensing with both trade and consumer press. We are delighted to be working with India and to be selected as the destination's first representation agency in the United Kingdom, said Judy McLexky, agency principal at McLexky International. Our team already has a good knowledge of and passion for the destination. We look forward to working more closely and strategically with the UK travel trade and media in order to achieve India's core PR objectives and share how incredible India really is the ultimate travel destination for the inquisitive and discerning traveler. McCluskey said 
the, that full trade and consumer PR program to promote India to UK visitors will now be implemented with the aim of boosting the country's appeal across a wide range of UK traveller audiences, from family, family travellers to adventure seekers and nature lovers. At this year's world travel market in London, India confirmed that it is aiming to achieve 1 million annual vis visitor arrivals from the UK by 2020. This would mark a 19% increase from the 8,38,860 UK travellers who visited India in 2014. Thomas Cook India has launched a new prepaid travel card in partnership with the MasterCard. The new Thomas Cook One currency card is based on a single currency US dollars and offers Indian travelers zero cross currency conversion fees no matter what country they visit. Thomas Cook India said that its internal customer research found that value conscious Indian travelers were commonly deterred from using prepaid currency cards due to the high conversion charges typically around 3 to 4 percent. Other benefits of the new card include embedded chip and pin security, locking of funds to avoid cross-currency fluctuations, instant loading emergency cash, disbursement, free card replacement in case of loss of theft, and 24-7 global assistance. Users can also cash in the residual balance of the card after their trip or retain it for future travel. The card can be used in in 2.2 million ATMs and with more than 35 million merchants worldwide. With exponential growth in the multinational travel, the need of the R was clearly a single currency card, since the downside of cross-currency charges, said Mahesh Iyer, Thomas Cook India's Chief Operating Officer for Foreign Exchange and Head of Visas. As pioneers in the foreign exchange business are innovative, the Thomas Cook One Currency Card, the first of its kind in India, brings Indian travellers a strong value proposition, zero currency conversion charges in a digital currency ecosystem. We are delighted that our partnership with MasterCard and this drives significant advantages in ensuring a comprehensive solution to our customers. Purush Singh, MasterCard's Divisional President for South Asia, commented MasterCard and Thomas Cook India have had a strong relationship over the past few years in providing products to make travel easier and more convenient via our focus on innovation, excellence and technology. The Thomas Cook One Currency Card is an innovative solution. We are confident of it becoming the preferred prepaid travel card for overseas travelers in the near future. The Thomas Cook One Currency Card can be bought or recharged via Thomas Cook.in and across Thomas Cook's 136 foreign exchange counters.